Yo, what up? Your boy Brick Street Sprite in the building, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. And I real just, just quickly wanted to do a recap on the latest battle that they dropped on the app. It was uh, Dre Dennis and Shotgun Shug. This was a one-rounder. I just watched it last night. I didn't really have time. I had my daughter before that, so I didn't have time to really, to really, to really watch it until now. I wrote some of the bars down. Um, I, well, this was a one-sided battle, man. Kind of entertaining, not much replay value unless you're a Dre Dennis fan, which I have become. Dre Dennis, man, shows you that the more work you put in, the more progress you will see. No pain, no gain. You don't put in the work, then you won't see the results. He was not this fired before. He's fired now. I fuck with Dre Dennis. There's a reason why Math Hoffa postponed this battle. You know what I mean? Because he must have seen something and like, yo, I need to take this dude serious because this ain't... Yo, Dre Dennis is a problem right now, man. He murdered Shotgun Shug in this one rounder. Before I get into the bars, I did write down what the couple of bars that Shug had. There's a bunch of bars from Dre Dennis. He was punching his head off. Right off rip, punching this boy Suge's shit off. Like, Jesus, bro, bro. This shit got dark and ugly fast. But I just want to ask y'all, put this in the comments, how y'all feel. What is we doing with Suge, man? What we doing with Suge? He doesn't win battles. He's not even fire anymore. When's the last battle he won? I know he be talking like he beat B-Dot. Listen to that shit. Go rewatch that shit. He did not beat B Dot. That might have been his best performance as of the last however many battles, but he be getting his ass whooped. Motherfuckers be dragging him and dog walking him like it ain't nothing. When I see Shotgun Shook on a card now, it's an automatic win for whoever he's battling. He just don't have the hunger. I'm not taking away from his legend status. And his pioneer status as far as one of the one of the one of the dudes that was down with URL since basically its inception and helped battle rap become what it is today and how big that it is. Now I've never fucked with Suge like that because of the whole proof situation and all that shit. I'm from Michigan, man. And him going in on proof and doing all that. I haven't fucked with Suge since. But I I don't hate his guts and I go with like I I always go into every battle trying to look at it objectively and looking for a fire Shug, you know what I mean? Because I know when he's firing when he's not. He has been fired before. He's gotten a lot worse. Like somebody tell me, do y'all feel like Shug is as fire as he once was? What we doing with Suge, man? Should he sit his ass down for a while till he gets hungry again? What we doing with Suge? Anyway, he got obliterated in this shit. Shit was not even funny, dog. Shit was not fair. Shit was dark early for his ass. Dark. This boy Dre Dennis, man, was not playing with him at all. It got ugly off of the first bar. Like, but anyway, man, I wrote some shit down. Let's see. I wrote a bunch of shit down for Dennis. Dre Dennis said a bunch of fire shit, dog. Like, man, I was like blown away. But he does that all the time now. He just beat QP. And QP has always been a fire writer. Not clean paper, but Quantum. I fuck with Quantum. He's one of my top five pens. If not the best pen in battle rap. But... He doesn't necessarily have all the other characteristics, you know what I mean, that go into, and attributes that go into being a great battler. He's a fire writer. He's a great writer, one of the best that we've ever seen. 
But as far as being a great performer, having the voice, having the conviction, having the believability. Now, he really has shot somebody at an at an event. So I think that gives you a little bit of believability. But it's just the other attributes, man. Like the dominant voice, you know what I mean? Being able to project like that. The the unwavering delivery like that can get through any situation you know what i'm saying when your voice can get you out of anything your delivery like no matter what the circumstances are how loud people are being how well your other how well your opponent's performing you can still deliver and perform and fall back on your delivery and your performance and your voice and all these attributes like he doesn't have a lot of these attributes other than the pen you know what i mean He's a lot better of a performer than he once was, I think. But he's still not the best, is what I'm trying to say. Doesn't have the performance or the voice, or even necessarily the delivery that you need to be a great battle rapper, but he's a great pen. But Dre Dennis beat him. Bodied him. But let's start with the Suge shit and get that out the way. Suge said, "Have you off the rip, have your family looking at you in a box like it's a Zoom? Chill, Dre. You're going to get the beats now. But the next episode, I'm going to steal Dre. I'm going to steal Dre. Steal Dre. Or next episode, Still Dre. Both songs off of Chronic 2001. Or Chronic 2000. Um, he said, Chill, Dre. You're going to get the beats Beats like Beats headphones or the Beats or how Dre is one of the best beat makers of all time in a lot of people's eyes. And then the next episode, I'm gonna steal Dre. That I thought that was a fire little scheme, you know what I mean? Set up, delivery, punch. You say shit, but never hit like the friend zone. And that's all I got from Still Get a Short Round. I think Dre Dennis had a Dre Dennis's round was three times as long. And dog, it got dark early. Dre Dennis said, plus on the top of that, like a first aid kit, you fucking trash. I've been punching for years like birthday hits. Dog, punching for years like birthday hits. How old are you? 12? punch you 12 times punching for years birthday hits i thought that was fire pretty creative as well like i never heard nobody say it that way you know what i mean that was fire i thought <clears throat> very fire just as far as the creativity man and thought process that goes into that he said fucking with loud will get you knocked off track shikari richardson bro let's go I knew people were going to start using that eventually. Cut him first and run it back like, like I like the song. Cut him first and run it back like I like the song. Headshot. When Dre get to Suge, he left ruthless. Or left ruthless. When Dre got to Suge, he left ruthless. Fire. Fire. When Dr. Dre got with Suge, you know what I mean? He left ruthless. Fire. 45 in front of the 6, chronological order. Fire. 8 ball, you go in this pocket, it's game over. Talking about the pocket taps, you go in my pockets. 8 ball, you go in this pocket, it's game over. Fire, man, fire! This boy, Dre Dennis, like I said, it just goes to show you that if you put in the work, you will see the results and you will get better. You will be more fire. The more work you put in. And he's showing you that through all the work. He battles more than anybody. More than Danny Myers. He battles more than anyone. My shooter's cheap. I put a bag on shotgun. I'm driving for Uber Eats. Dog. I put a bag on shotgun. Put money on his head. Or like when you driving for Uber Eats. You know what I'm saying? 
you're going to deliver somebody's bag to them of food, you put it on the passenger seat. Bag on shotgun. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Dre Dennis, man. <laughs> Yo, get out of pocket. I'm running after shotgun like a QB sneak. Get out of pocket. Like, the, like you know what I mean? I'm running after Suge. Oh, yeah. Get out of pocket. I'm running after shotgun like a QB sneak. Shotgun formation and leave the pocket. Bruh, you know football and that's fucking, that's self-explanatory. I'm like a bad judge because even if you miss, you get a nine for it. Fire, man. Let's go. You close like your battles. You used to giving us weak material. <laughs> Bruh. That shit is like, uh, he was talking about his merch merch. He was talking about Suge's merch. He also had a line where he said something about how I put it in the washer, pulled it out. It was mad annoying. It was real annoying because half the letters was missing like Wheel of Fortune. Bro, that shit was fire to him. You know what I mean? Sugar be missing like Craig and Smokey trying to make Kool-Aid. Sugar be missing. Sugar be missing. <laughs> like Friday. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, I wrote down so many bars for this dude, bro. Because he was just snapping. He said, I punched a man. He did a whole scheme. He was talking about fucking certain people up. But then he said, I punched a man. I need a girl. P. Diddy and Usher. Like, I need a girl. You know what I mean? Like, straight up. P. Diddy and Usher. That shit was fire, too, man. That was fire. Got dissed by shotgun out of nowhere, random. I, I just thought that was because he threw shotgun. He, he A couple of times he used shotguns like special moves on them. You know what I mean? He used Shug's random. And he also used the, uh, I bring my nine by MT. I bring my nine by MTV Cribs. I shoot where you live to see what your life like. I shoot where you live to see what your life like. He also used the what is life like shit against them. I bring my nine by MTV Cribs. I shoot where you live to see what your life like. Like they used to come to your crib and shoot where you live. Just fire, bro. That shit was fire, man. Fire. Fire ass battle, dog. As far as as far as um Dre Dennis, man. You know what I mean? The only replay value that they have is if you want to go back and watch Dre Dennis because he had so many bars, you know what I'm saying? But this was an obliterated, he obliterated Shook. This was a 3-0 in a one-round battle. But uh, um, like Hollow said, you the first dude to get 30 in a one-round battle. But uh, I also wanted to say Stack Almighty talking about how he might retire after that body that he that, that Bill Collector caught on him. You never should have been battle rapping anyway, dog. You just making Michigan look bad between him and Royce recently. I do think Royce is going to answer back. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad at Royce. I just want him to answer back. You know what I mean? I do think he's cooking something up, though. You know what I mean? But I just feel like he's like, fuck y'all. I'm not on y'all clock. I'll do this when I want to. You know what I mean? So I ain't really mad at him. But Stack Almighty making motherfucking Detroit and Michigan look bad with that bullshit. Talking about, he was, talking about he'll kill motherfuckers. You talking to somebody that were really cute? Bro, the look on fucking Lush One's face was fucking priceless after that shit. I was like, wow. <laughs> wow. He's trying to like console him and shit as a fan. I want to. He's like, I'll kill you. Bro. Because you lost a battle to Bill Collector of all people. A battle that you admit that you lost. So you mad that everyone agreed with you? In the fan vote? And people get the fan vote misconstrued. It's, they didn't ask people if you got 30. They asked people what you did. But they didn't ask people if it was an obliteration or the biggest blowout ever, which it wasn't. Um, they, they're asking people who they thought won. That's where you get it fucked up. 95% of people thought that he won. That's the question, bruh. So... I don't know, bro. I just think motherfuckers be too sensitive about that shit, man. 
Just go back to the drawing board. You wasn't supposed to win on the East. You even said that. I don't have a following in the East. I haven't broken the East. Then you shouldn't be like all that choked up and fucked up over this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should have known that that was going to happen. That he was going to be much more well received. Than you. But you just making Michigan look bad. You like, come on, man. That's not what a grown ass man does. A grown-ass man takes that L and goes back to the drawing board and gets better. Also, I don't know what's going on with Chubby Jag on in that King of the Dot shit, but he's postponed that battle many times. I feel like he should just take that L. They should give him an L for that first round. The Math Hoffa shit was a COVID scare, so I understand that. You know what I mean? And they're battling in Detroit, I guess, coming up here. So, but Jag has postponed that battle a couple of times now. I just wanted to speak on him because of the way he talks like he's one of the greatest. You know what I mean? Which he's not. His best performance was against Math Hoffa, which he lost to me. Go back and listen to it bar for bar, unbiased. He lost that shit. Objectively, nobody's really unbiased. I get that. No people are. But try to watch it objectively. Like as if you didn't know who either of these dudes were. Mass bars. He obliterated Jag, bruh, bar for bar. Like, am I going to have to do a breakdown of that battle just to show y'all? Bar for bar, who won that battle? Come on, man. But Jag just ain't that nice. I just wanted to say that. He, he's just, he, he could be. He's got attributes to be fired. But he hasn't put it all together yet because he's not experienced enough in this modern fucking day era of battle rap. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta do more, bruh. He hasn't really figured it all out yet, or put it all together. Which, not saying he can't, but he hasn't. He didn't even deserve an ill will battle, and that was obvious. Ill will showed you why. And then, because he got killed so bad, it's fucking his brand up. How is it fucking his brand up? They snatched that Arsenal battle off the table because of how bad he looked in that ill will battle. They were offering, the, I don't know if it was URL, RBE, but they were offering an Arsenal battle. They got snatched off the table after he got obliterated by ill will. So it's fucking your brand up. That Arsenal battle would have been a great look if you at least come respectable against Will. But nah. A lot of people ain't beating Will, though. So I can't really I can't really go in on him like that. But I can because of the way he talks. And acts like he's the most fire. You know what I'm saying? But he's a little delusional, man. Being humble is sometimes the best thing that can happen to someone. Like the, like the U.S. team. You know what I mean? The Olympic team. I think that loss to France, as an example. I think that loss to France was the best thing that could have happened to them. In their, in their journey for a gold medal or trying to get to that gold medal game because it humbled them and made them really pick it up and pick up the intensity, dial up, dial up the intensity on the defensive end. You know what I'm saying? Which is all effort. I know I'm kind of talking sports now, but just an analogy. Sometimes that humbling loss can be the best thing that happens to you as far as regrouping and kind of finding that hunger again to uh to get the most out of you. You get what I'm saying? And now the US is playing in the gold medal game with an opportunity to get back at France. So let me know, man, what y'all thought about the Dre Dennis battle with goods. Or I mean goods, with Suge. What y'all what are we doing with Suge? Let me know what we doing with Suge. <clears throat> is he out of there? Should he sit the fuck down? Cause he's just losing, losing, losing battles. He just taking bags, sometimes no showing, or like at least postponing it for multiple weeks and months. That fucked Danny up for Gnome. He should have made Suge wait. Instead, he came and battled Suge and then wasn't ready for Gnome. Suge did that to you. You should have done the same thing to him and made his bitch ass wait until you was done with Gnome. But what we doing with Suge, man? Let me know. Let me know what y'all thought about the battle. Let me know what y'all think about the gold medal game. I got, I got, I got us beating France. 
and getting them back for that first for that first loss in the prelims. You know what I mean? So let me know, man. I think KD is really gonna really gonna get in his bag. You know what I'm saying? And and when he wants to, he showed it throughout this whole tournament. Since after that loss, he showed that when he wants to, he can get his shot and he can he's unstoppable. Nobody in the world can stop him when he when he's on his shit and when he just wants to score and wants to take over. He's the most skilled player in the world, man, as far as offensively, and he's playing well on the that whole team's playing well on the defensive end. They're flying around. Man, Durant Durant blocking shots on the help side. Bruh, they're looking good. And offensively, the second half is way different than the first half. The second, they've been a completely different team. They've been swinging the ball, great ball movement. You know what I'm saying? They've been looking very unselfish, making the extra pass to get the more high percentage look. I really like how, really like what I've seen out of them in these second halves. They've completely regrouped and looked very good in these games. And, uh, that's how you got to do it. It's not about how you start. It's how you finish. They're the U.S. They're going to take the every every team's biggest punch at the beginning. It's how you regroup. You know what I'm saying? But offensively, they've been very... Un That's why I like Olympic basketball, because they've been very unselfish. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, crisp passing. A lot of ball movement. Swinging it. You know what I'm saying? Like, finding the cutter. Bruh. And obviously they they their shots have been falling in the second half, but it's because of making that extra pass to find the open man. You know what I'm saying? And to get the more high percentage shot. That's what they've been doing. So I hope that they continue and and, and that crosses over into this next game against France. I would really like to see another gold medal, but let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know who y'all think is going to win that game about the battle. What y'all think is going to happen with Math and Dre Dennis. What y'all think is going to happen with Jag in this tournament. Let me know what y'all think of Jag all together anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of interested in how people feel about him. You know what I mean? Just overall. I know we lost the Will battle, but how y'all feel about him? Let me know, man. It's your boy, Brick Street Sprite. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision, and I'm out of here. 100.